morning, everyone. Who else is a psycho that still gets cold brew in 30 degree weather? Comment down below. <laughs> I just genuinely prefer the taste of cold brew to hot coffee so much. If I'm getting a hot coffee, I just like it in my Nespresso machine with some frothed up milk but my Nespresso machine is not working. And I don't, I need a lot of caffeine. So like as much as I love a latte, I just feel like it doesn't give me the boost I need before a workout like a cold brew does. And I know like just regular hot drip coffee does the trick, but I don't enjoy it as much at all. I guess I could have frothed up milk in my frother at home and put it in the drip coffee. Maybe I'll do that next time, but my heater's on in my apartment. So I just have to get to the apartment and then I can enjoy this. Okay, we are back home. I got my favorite cold brew per usual. This is usually like a weekend treat, but we'll get into why this week is definitely a little weird. Welcome back to our community. I'm Jen, if you're new, I hope you guys end up joining this incredible community that we are building. So please subscribe if you haven't yet. If you just found me, found us, Welcome. So it is Monday. This is gonna be a very interesting week in my life because although I'm still working, technically it's a week off. So I really considered my week off in Florida last week. If you missed that vlog, you can go watch that after. So I really tried to use last week as my week off. This week, I'm still working at Rumble a few times a week, but I'm going there tonight only from five to 7.45 or five to 6.45, I don't even know, <laughs> I have to check. Very quick shift tonight and tomorrow night because due to COVID, if you didn't see my vlog earlier last week, COVID is crazy in New York and it's affecting small businesses, it's affecting gyms including Rumble. And so we've canceled a few classes just because not as many people are showing up. Trainers are sick, front desk people are sick. It's crazy. So I'm going to be working alone tonight, which I requested because I want to be super safe. So I'll be working tonight from five to 7.45. But anyway, even though I'm working a bunch this week and I actually do have PR work to get done by the end of the week, like an end of year report and I'm filming and everything, like technically, yes, it's a typical work week. But because I don't have that structure of usually like my PR job, everyone else is full time and running throughout the day and my Slack is going off and my email is, I just have like way less anxiety knowing that like most people are off. It's weird, I don't know. So someone please tell me if this has happened to you. I use the sleep cycle app because it gently wakes me up and that keeps saying the microphone isn't working so it doesn't wake me up. Like my alarm does not go off. Luckily I woke up at 9.30 naturally today but like I wanted to wake up at eight. I went to sleep so early so. Anyway, what we're doing today is chugging this cold brew and I actually just did after a little manifestation meditation, I just did Wim Hof for the first time in a while. I resubscribed on my Apple ID because I listened to an episode on breath work um, on the Skinny Confidential this week and it really re-inspired me and reminded me of how important breath work is and how it can really physically change you. And I know if you've been here a while, you know that's why I do Kundalini because I feel like it combines manifestation, breath work, meditation, movement, like all of it in one and it feels super efficient. So that's why I love Kundalini. Wim Hof is a way for me to get that breath work in, but I'm also so focused on the breath that I feel like I'm meditating and I, I feel such a physical shift. So I'm gonna try to do Wim Hof every day because even if I can't get a meditation in, I can squeeze that in, which is essentially meditation. So I've been loving that. And I also started Abraham Hicks. It's called Money and the Law of Attraction. It's the teachings of Abraham. If you're not into spirituality, then maybe you haven't heard of Abraham Hicks. But essentially, all you've ever learned about the law of attraction and all that kind of stuff comes from the teachings of Abraham Hicks. So it's like a very big book and I just, I'm not good at finishing books quickly. So I decided to get it on Audible so that I could listen to it in chunks whenever I feel like spiritual teachings. It's not just about money at all. It's really just about the law of attraction, but there's like a chapter on just the money mindset as it pertains to the law of attraction. So, but it's really about, it even says learning to attract wealth, health, and happiness. It's not just about money. And at first I was like, oh, I can't listen to these people. Like it's very like monotone and whatever, but now I'm like an hour into it and now I can't stop listening. So I think that's like similar to any book. You just need time to get into it. It's really allowing me to see. So I feel like I want to share it with you guys. Sorry for the long intro, but if you're into spiritual and inspiration on law of attraction and manifestation, keep watching. If not, you can scroll through another minute and watch the rest of the vlog. But essentially we're so focused on, she said something that really hit me today. That was like, we're always focused on if once we get this, then we will be happy. But really if we're not happy, we won't get that thing. 
So we're not going to attract that thing unless we're already feeling grateful and happy and healthy and abundant in our current life. So it's a very toxic cycle of like, I won't be happy till I get this thing because you're not gonna get that thing with that attitude. That was one thing that really struck me. I'm trying recently and it, I think it's been working. Like I just feel very grateful all the time and like looking back at what I used to manifest, what I have now, really looking at my life and instead of just, I'm very future focused, I'm goal oriented, but if you're just goal oriented your whole life, you're not enjoying your life. So as much as I love chasing my dreams and like I, I genuinely enjoy the journey to my goals, so that's a good thing, but I'm trying to really enjoy the journey and stay present and constantly, I looked at Ethan the other night, we got back from Florida on Christmas and we went for Chinese food and I just looked at him and I said, randomly, I was like, you know, we have very full lives. Like it's so easy to get caught up in what we don't have or what we want or what we want is okay. I'm learning with Abraham Hicks. It's good to focus on what you want. That's a good feeling vibration, just not on what you don't have. It's all about perspective, but it's so easy to, you know, different buckets of our lives can stress us out at different times or be negative at different times. But if you really look at the whole picture, I feel like I live a very full life. And I think it's important to always come back to that because I think we all do. And I think it's so easy to get wrapped up in the negative feelings. But if we can really try to focus on what we do have and what we want more of and like in all positive ways, we will get more and we will live in a happier, more fulfilled life because we're actually experiencing our life and enjoying the fulfillment that it does bring now. I thought that was an interesting perspective of like, not just like, oh yeah, we need to be present, whatever, but like, if we are feeling happy and fulfilled now, we're only gonna get more of that and work towards more of that. If we're just in a lack mindset, I'm trying to be in more of an abundant mindset. And if we're just feeling lack all the time, like what you think, Something is just gonna fall from the sky if you're just feeling lack and like upset every day that you're working towards more. Like you're, it's, you're not gonna be filled with inspiration or fulfillment and we're not gonna get more. So that is the lesson of the day. Okay, I'm scrolling through YouTube. I have never been into, or I just haven't given it a shot, Rachel Rocke, I think that's how you pronounce her name. She's a, she just like popped off over the pandemic, but like her vibe just didn't resonate with me to like, no, no shade at all. I just like haven't clicked, if that makes sense. Like I just haven't been drawn to click. But now that I'm going to Denver soon, drop your recs below, I'm going to Denver for a week. I saw that Rachel actually had moved to Denver or Colorado with her boyfriend for his job. So I'm gonna binge her old videos where she was moving because I'm very intrigued by people like moving to a new city and what the experience is like right away. I, I don't know, it just really intrigues me. Like it's, it's exciting to me, so I'm gonna watch that. Okay, if you've been subscribed for a long time, you know I used to be obsessed with protein pancakes and I haven't made them in a while. But ever since Ethan left for the week, I've been feeling inspired to test out more recipes and cook more of my own recipes again. Cause usually I just like follow his lead. And as I was looking on like Instagrams, I found pancakes again and I got excited again. So I'm gonna eat these protein pancakes and then go to the gym in like two hours once I digest. Mmm. Mm. My secret is I use the New Zest Chai Maca protein powder and it gives it like a turmeric chai fall spice. So I add that into the pancake recipe, which is just an egg, half a mashed banana, some oat flour, some baking soda, and that's literally it. And then I add some almond milk because when I add the protein powder in, it's like too much powder, not enough eggs. So you can either add another egg or add some almond milk. And because I eat so many eggs, I just added almond milk. <laughs> oh my God, this is so good. Okay, I'm going to record the last Q&A, last episode of my podcast for the season. I'm gonna be back in a few weeks, but for the first time, I'm gonna take a little break from the podcast just to batch record. It's been hard to record with people over the holidays because people are off and I don't have enough episodes lined up right now and I really want to take this these next few weeks to like pitch a ton of amazing guests and record with a ton of amazing guests and then be able to come back with like a bunch of episodes lined up. I think it will help with you guys as listeners getting like the best episodes possible instead of me just like trying to throw some shit together. But then also like for myself and from like a productivity standpoint, I can have them all lined up. All I have to do is record intros, record episodes. Like I just haven't been podcasting a lot recently. There's been like a lot going on and I haven't pitched in a while. So I've had like episodes lined up for months now just because I schedule far in advance. But then at a certain point, like I 
stopped reaching out and scheduling people just because I my calendar always had podcasts coming up. Anyway, I need to take some time to schedule a bunch of amazing guests and record those. So I'm going to take a bit of a few weeks off just to do that. I think at the end of the year is the perfect time to do it. And then January 11th was when my first episode ever launched. So I might do like an anniversary episode. If you have any ideas for that, let me know. Let's record our episode. Welcome to my podcast setup of Jim Mac, my new microphone. And I'm going to go ahead and record. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our community. went to Equinox to work out. I did Sydney Cummings at the gym. I didn't know if I would feel comfortable doing like a workout video in the gym, but I was very subtle about it. I kept it like not face down, but like a little out of the way. So it didn't look like I was doing a workout class in the gym. So I'm going to pick up Sweet Green really quick to eat on my shift at Rumble. And this is why living in New York City is so expensive. <laughs> As long as I can remember, if you've been watching for a while, you remember. <laughs> I always like start the clip because I get excited to talk to you guys and start my vlog before I drink coffee and I like can't get words out. So I'll I'll be back. Hi Jenny girl. Good morning. Hi oh, Jenny girl. Good morning to my Jenny. What are you doing over there? Say good morning. Good morning. Ethan had to go to the cardiologist yesterday and they sent him home with like stickers all, he's okay, don't worry, but they sent him home with stickers all over himself and he can't work out for one day and he like doesn't know what to do with himself this morning and he's home and he's not working so he just like is being crazy. I've been loving pulling a, de a card from this deck every day. So I did the manifesting meditation with Erica on Erica's Evolve platform and I also did Wim Hof this morning. So I'm trying to do that every day this week, the combination of the two. It's not intimidating, it's eight minutes of manifestation, meditation, and then the Wim Hof. Honestly, it just feels so good. It doesn't feel like, oh, I have to get myself to sit down and do this. Like you're doing an activity breath work. So it's not as like, it kind of flies by. It's not as hard to sit still as in like a silent or guided meditation. And it feels really good. Like whatever it does to your body, that breath work, the deep breathing and the holding your breath, it feels so good. You don't want to stop. By the way, I love these morning chats. It's like my favorite thing to do to start each day of every vlog. So this vlog is probably going to be three days in my life because because Thursday, Friday, I'm really just at Rumble all day and then I'm gonna head home to spend New Year's Eve with my family and Ethan's family. So I'm really just gonna be at Rumble all day and then on COVID test lines, but we'll see. I'm listening to Scout Sobel's podcast this morning on listening to your intuition as an entrepreneur. I find that her podcast specifically for the mornings I love, she's so soothing and it's like kind of more of a spiritual podcast. So while making my coffee or whatever I'm doing in the morning, it feels like a good podcast to start my day. I have not looked at any social media yet and I'm loving that. I think as I drink my coffee, I'm going to finish Shelby's vlog that I told her I'd get to her today. So I'm gonna go finish that and then we'll figure out what work that we're doing. And making pancakes while also just re-watching this vlog before I send it to Shelby because I just finished editing it and it's already almost 12 o'clock so I've been editing all morning. So after I eat breakfast I'm going to finally film for myself. I was gonna work out first so I could shower, do my hair, film, but I think I'm just gonna do what I did yesterday and go work out next door to Rumble before I go to Rumble. So I have from like 12 to 3 to shower, do my hair, and film. So that's the plan. to make these pancakes all the time in my last apartment. I don't know what happened. I just like stopped making them. I probably got sick of them. I now need to order more. I only had one packet left of the chai protein powder that I like to use for these. So I'm gonna have to order more now that I'm back into this. Mm. Oh my God. I also added the pumpkin spice that I have from Whole Foods. So good. Or Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, sorry. Wow. 
Highly recommend. It's just a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda, one egg, half a mashed banana, half a scoop of protein powder, and like four tablespoons of oat flour. And then on top I put a tablespoon of syrup, some peanut butter, walnuts, and banana. So all day I made some TikToks and you could tell I have makeup on or maybe not because it's been a while. I was using this camera so I didn't vlog much but I was just filming a YouTube video on 2022 planning. I made some TikToks. I threw some reels up. I just did like so much content where by the time I cleaned everything up I didn't really have time to work out before work and honestly it's fine because it was a content day. I will work out the rest of the week. Right now I'm watching Ultimate Girls Trip while I eat my lox and cashew cream cheese on sourdough. I already had one of them but before I eat the other one. I did want to go through. Daily Harvest sent me a bunch of smoothies. They know my favorites are the mint cacao. I literally drink this every other day, especially the morning shift of Rumble. Chocolate and blueberry, those are my favorites. But then they sent me a bunch of new ones, which is cold brew cacao. I'm obsessed with coffee and chocolate, so that's great. Spiced pear and cranberry, and I think that's it. And then there's just like a bunch of doubles for me. So I'm excited to try them. I literally drink these every single morning shift at Rumble, so this is perfect because I'm working multiple this week at the end of the week, so I'm excited. Try them, I also have a code where you can get up to $40 off your first subscription box and I highly recommend if you're someone who's on the go needs organic foods try it out <laughs> All right, what a day the only reason I left the apartment today was to take a TikTok in the streets of New York, which is why I love working at Rumble because so many days where I'm working from home all day, specifically because I didn't work out today, usually I would have left for a workout. It gets me outside, it gives me something to do. I walk there, I do work, I come back, and then it's like, I feel like once I come home, it's like the end of the night, I can like relax. Where if I was working all day right now, I feel like I'd be very confused, although I'd probably go work out. But anyway, I'm going to Rumble, so I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Wednesday, happy hump day. <laughs> this is such a weird week. I set my alarm for 7.30 because I have so much to do today. And it's like technically a real work day for me, but I keep falling victim to like, it, which isn't a bad thing, but like it's also break. So it's okay to sleep in a little. So I slept until like 8.45 which isn't that crazy, but when you set your alarm for 7.30 and you kept snoozing it every 15 minutes, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> so I actually have a ton to do today because I essentially with Shelby, I just have like, she's vlogs all the time. Like she's vlogging almost every day that she can. So there's always vlogs to edit. So really once I finish one, like I'm either waiting for footage or like I'm ready to do the next one, which honestly, because I do them so often, I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. And like, she doesn't really have any edits ever. So they're pretty easy and quick to do. Let's just go on my Google Calendar to tell you everything I have to do. And I didn't work out yesterday and I really want to work out today. So we're going to 100% get to the gym. On the list today is upload my YouTube video. So because I'm always editing Shelby's and I have a lot of jobs, which has been great because honestly, for some reason, if you relate, if you're a YouTuber, let me know. For some reason, editing her vlogs are like fun because I guess I didn't already live it and I'm not watching myself and just try to get a video up. Editing Shelby's vlogs are fun because like I'm watching the vlog as I go, but editing my own, it just feels like a daunting task. So Amanda Wan, whose YouTube channel is amazing, has been helping me edit my vlogs, these vlogs that you're watching now. So she edited one of my vlogs that I'm gonna get up today, but I just do like some extra edits and color grading on my end after she sends it to me. So I'm gonna do that. First thing this morning, do the thumbnail, like get that all up. Then I actually have an interview with Business Insider later, so I have to send them like how much money I've made on YouTube AdSense, because that's what the article's about. So I gotta get that over to them. Then we are working out. 100%. I also want to edit my 2022 planning video that by the time you guys are watching this is already up. I filmed that yesterday. That's why I was a little MIA during the day. I was filming it. So I need to edit that. Then I have the interview with Business Insider. Then I have therapy. I have to go to Trader Joe's to cook dinner and also get a COVID test at some point. So that'll be like my walk of the day, maybe at four. And then I also have to edit Shelby's video. So we'll see if I get to Shelby's. Maybe I'll just do it like at night tonight because I don't have plans, I don't have Rumble. If not, I'm at Rumble all morning tomorrow and I requested to work alone because of COVID. So I'll have plenty of time to edit her vlog actually. My goal is to get that to her by 
end of the day tomorrow. But I'm going to prioritize my videos today because I just edited a few of hers for the beginning of the week. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, morning ramble over. I am curious though, before we go on with the day, I'm gonna watch Julia and Hunter's new vlog and also edit my video and get it up for you guys. But I am also curious, are you guys here for the vlogs? Like, do you guys watch when you see a vlog? If you're watching this, yes, but I'm just curious. Like, do you prefer these or my other more concept videos or do you like both? Ethan's calling me, let me know in the comments. Good morning. She hates me, she doesn't answer me anymore. You never call me. Why are you so cute and amazing? And like, you're just really just becoming a perfect version of yourself. Did you know I was filming? No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna edit this video now. Also, I'm sorry I wear the same sweatshirt every day this week. I go through phases like every week where I pull one on Monday and then it's at the top and that's just the same one I pull every day. <laughs> Watching myself because I have to watch it before I upload it. Mm. Guys, these smoothies are so good. It literally never gets old. I needed something quick because it's already 11.30. My videos always end up taking longer than I anticipate. It's 11.30, my video's uploading. I just gotta like do the back end SEO and everything. I'll show you the thumbnail options even though it's gonna be up by the time you guys see it. Um, but you could see my process a little bit. This smoothie is so good. My God, I needed something quick because I'm already hungry and I wanna get to the gym. So by the time I like get my act together and get to the gym, I will have digested this and I won't be too hungry. And then I'll probably like do my Trader Joe's and COVID test run right after the gym, come home shower and do all my editing, my therapy and everything for the night. I was gonna go to a coffee shop, but like with co, I have two days till I see my parents. I'm just gonna be super safe. Okay, so I've been on Photoshop for a while and here are the four I came up with. Here's this. This is like, I think the most, one of the most extravagant ones because it has the icons, the West Palm Beach everything. Then we have this with the icons healthy travel tip. Then we have just West Palm Beach and staying healthy, no icons. And then so we have a few. I think this one is the winner actually now that I've taken a step back. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this one. Or this one and change it to, oh no. This one and change it to staying healthy. I'm gonna do one of those, I just realized. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Drink my smoothie. All right, we are finally at 12.30, making our way to the gym. Gonna get a workout in before my interview with Business Insider at two. So let's go, we're gonna do Sydney Cummings at the gym, find a spot where no one is sweating on me, and just work out with Sydney Cummings, get it done and come home. So I will vlog on my phone. <laughs> This is Amanda, she's interviewed me a few times. I'll link the articles below. I'm on such a workout high right now, it's crazy. <laughs> it's actually crazy what that shit does. You're joining a call with one other person. Hi. Okay, I'm about to make eggs before my therapy appointment, but I just cut up some celery because my new favorite sauce, put you in front of the ring light, is this bitchin' sauce. Look at the ingredients. I can't even describe how it tastes. Somehow it tastes like spicy. Oh my God, it is so good. I don't even know how to explain what it tastes like, but I'm gonna snack on that while I finish up this lox, spinach, truffle cheese, and onion in a scramble. Honestly, that scramble was better than usual. I don't know why. I used two eggs this time and I usually use three. I think my ratio was just spot on. I did like, I did like the same amount of cheese I would usually do. So I think it was just a very cheesy <laughs> scramble and I had lox, it was a treat. Anyway, I have therapy in a few minutes, which it's funny cause like all week I feel like I'm kind of waiting for it. Like I have so much to talk about. And then when it's midday or something, I kind of just am like, mm, I went to the gym, I had an interview, I'm on a high, like don't really feel like talking about my trauma. <laughs> 
Uh, but after I have therapy, I am just gonna edit and hang in, shower, clean up for the night. So I am gonna make air fryer salmon over a salad. So I'm gonna take a picture of that and post the recipe to my highlights on Instagram. So follow me over on Instagram for that. It's gonna be really good. I saved my favorite dressing from my salad that I got from Marinara Pizza the other night. So I'm gonna make my usual air fryer salmon and then I'm gonna make a salad with that dressing and some banana peppers. It's gonna be great. Very excited. Thank you guys for watching and spending some productive days in New York City with me. I will see you in the new year. That's crazy. Happy New Year. <laughs> Oh my god. Stay tuned though because I'm going to vlog from January 1st on like my reset, what I do the first few days of the year to reset. Definitely click subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss it and we can keep growing this amazing community and hanging out and I will see you guys next week. Bye!